So I just was in the process of doing an update on my phone. Actually, I actually had my phone plugged into my computer and it said, hey, do you want to do an update? So I said, why not? Um, usually I do the updates directly through the phone. But uh, after the halfway through the update process, now it says this, go to support.apple or slash restore. Um, when I plug it into my computer, it pops up on this message in iTunes, uh, basically telling me to restore the phone. So that's great. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through the steps here. If you have the same issue, you had an issue and now it's asking you to restore, I'm gonna show you how to uh, go through the proper steps. Okay, so I have my phone plugged in now. It's coming up your computer here. There is a problem with the phone, it requires an update or to be restored. Um, I'm gonna try the update first because it's the first time I've seen it. So I have the iTunes installed, we hit update. So this is the update that failed, by the way. This is version 10.1.1.1. This is the one that uh, just randomly popped up on my phone. I said, sure, why not? Let's try this update. Of course, after you do the update, you always regret it. So after trying the update again, uh, the phone came back for this. My phone could not be updated, and I get the same error message. Um, so that was after doing the update. At this point, I'm going to try to do the restore. Hopefully my backup is uh, good, because if not, I'm in some trouble. So right now it's not picking up the phone at all. Plug in my dock. Generally, when it does the, before it does the update, it should do a full backup first. So it's coming back up, saying there's a problem. Uh, I'm going to hit the restore. This is going to be back to factory. Let's restore and update. Let's give that a shot. Okay, after the factory restore again, my phone's just off now. So it just goes black and it doesn't turn on. If you hold the side button for long enough, it should um, boot back on, but it's gonna come back up with that uh, same restore error I'm having. So right now I'm just trying to figure out is it the software. So what I've done is download it, even though I have the latest version of iTunes install, I just re-downloaded it and I'm gonna reinstall it here. So the second thing is I'm going to a USB 3.0 hub. Um, I'm gonna just get a brand new wire and go directly into my back of my computer in case it's the connection for some reason. And the second thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna unplug, I have an external hard drive plugged in here. Uh, I'm gonna unplug that just in case that the USB external sometimes messes with it. It's using the same drivers and things like that. So sometimes that can mess with it. So again, reinstall iTunes. And I'm gonna try this again. I need to get it power up, hold it in. I should see it's back to the same stupid restore. It's kind of, they call it bricked when it's not really doing anything. So it's uh, bricked it. <laughs> um, I can see it's reinstalling the drivers here. Let's open up iTunes. I need just to reboot my computer actually now that uh, I've done a fresh install. My computer, I have the latest iTunes reinstalled. Finally, I'm getting this screen, which I wasn't getting before. So it says verifying phone restore. So what I've done so far, again, just to recap, plugged it in directly back in my computer, unplugged my external hard drive that's sitting up there, and did a reboot after reinstalling iTunes. Um, and I'm doing a factory restore at this point. So let's see if we can uh, get this guy to restore. But this is definitely further than I've gotten before. Okay, so looks like you got back at least a working phone. It says hello. Now it's coming up with this activation lock. Um, that's the first time I've ever seen this thing before. So it's basically asking me for my log information to iTunes or the Apple. Um, 
phone that I usually log in to, to put my password. So if I'm going to download an app, I'll go through these uh, steps and let's see if it uh, keeps restoring. Cool. So we got past that step. Um, look, looks like it did a backup today before my um, crash or bricking with the phone. So I'm going to try to try to restore this one. It looks like there's a password to restore my backup, which I hope I can remember. So cool. I luckily remembered that password and it's going to do the restore process now. Uh, I'm probably guessing it's going to take half an hour or longer. Okay, so as you can see now, my phone's back up and running. <clears throat> it took uh, maybe about 45 minutes an hour. Uh, it is still installing apps. So the problem is probably going to be, like if I open like a uh, run keeper here, I'm gonna have to log into a lot of these. Um, information, cool. Um, let's try this body space one. I'm hoping it saves the login information, some of the app data. Oh great, so good, a lot of the stuff is saved. Um, use it before and restores I've seen it has not saved that information but because I encrypted the backup it looks like it's um, saving a lot of the login information which is great so um, the bad news is doing an update through iTunes and Windows crashed it the good news is I was able to get back up and running uh, try my steps if, if they help you uh, restore your phone as well, then great. If you have more issues or these steps don't work, feel free to leave, uh, leave it in the comments and hopefully somebody will try to help you out. Uh, I'll try to help you out as well if I have any tips for you. Uh, worst case, you're probably going to have to bring it to the Apple store. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Thanks. Hey, guys, thanks for watching my video. If you have time, please subscribe to my channel. Click here to watch more videos, or please give me a thumbs up. Thanks.